ease of entering graphics and design. Myself, Ankur Patel and today, in this fifth session of introduction, we will continue our practice of problems of plane scale. So before moving on to next example of plane scale, let us take an overview of the unit measurements. So in the last lecture, we have already discussed with the unit measurements. So there are two unit measurements. One is metric measurement unit and second is British measurement unit. And here we have shown the relation between two consecutive units. So 10 mm is equal to 1 cm, 10 cm is equal to 1 decimeter, 10 decimeter is equal to 1 meter, 10 meter is equal to 1 decameter, 10 decameter is equal to 1 hectometer, 10 hectometer is equal to 1 kilometer, 2.54 cm is equal to 1 inch, 12 inch is equal to 1 foot, 3 feet is equal to 1 yard, 220 yard is equal to 1 furlong, and 8 furlong is equal to 1 eye. So these are the relation between consecutive units that are going to be useful in our construction of the plane scale. Now let us recall the definition of the plane scale. A plane scale is nothing but a straight line which is divided into shooted per number of equal divisions or units and the first main division is divided into subdivisions and uh, plane scale is used to represent a unit or its fraction or two consecutive units. So here in this figure you can see that the given length is divided into some equal number of main divisions and the first main division of the scale is divided into subdivisions. Make sure that in plane scale we have to divide the first main division into subdivisions and we have to start the zero from the first main division. For example, if we have to show the scale in meter and decimeter, that means meter will be our main scale and decimeter will be our subscale. So on the main division we will represent meter and on the subscale we will represent the decimeter, that is the subscale. So let us start with the second example of the plane scale. Construct a plane scale to show kilometers and hectometer when 25 mm is equal to 1 km and long enough to measure up to 6 km. Find RF and show a distance of 3 km and 4 km of the scale. So we have to construct the scale which shows kilometers and hectometers. So what is the relation between kilometers and hectometer? Yes. So 1 km is equal to 10 hectometer. So, kilometer will be our main unit and hectometer will be our subunit. When 25 mm is equal to 1 cm, here the relation is given that uh, on the scale the drawing length is, if the drawing length is 25 mm, so in this 25 mm drawing length we will represent 1 km. That means 1 km is represented by 25 mm in the drawing length. And long enough to measure up to 6 km. That means our scale is long enough to measure up to. That means the maximum measurement by our scale will be 6 km. Find RF and show a distance of 3 km and 4 km on the scale. That means after drawing the scale, we have to find the RF and we have to show 3 km and 4 km. Or we can also set at 3.4 km on the scale. So, first of all, let us find the drawing length of the scale. So, length of the plane scale, that means the drawing length of the plane scale is the RF into maximum length. So, it is equal to 25 mm upon 1 km, which will be our RF. Because 25 mm represents 1 km. So 25 mm is our drawing length and 1 km is our actual length. So this will be our RF 25 mm upon 1 km into maximum length. That means the maximum measurement uh, which we, we should be done by this scale is 6 km. So it will be 6 km. So it is equal to 15 cm. So in this we have to convert this kilometer, this, this kilometer, this kilometer will be removed and 25 mm into 6 will be equal to 150 and then it equal to 15 cm. So first of all draw a scale having length is equal to 15 cm. So the actual length of our, of our scale is 15 cm. And on this scale we have to show 6 km. So right now we, the drawing length for 6 km is 15 cm. So now we have to show 6 km on this scale. So divide this length into 6 equal parts. And uh, mark 0 at the first main division. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Right now, the length of each main division is equal to 15 by 6. That is equal to 2.5 cm. Now, the main scale will represent kilometer. That means here the main scale will represent kilometer. 0 kilometer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 kilometer. Now, as you know that uh, the relation between kilometer and hectometer is 1 kilometer is equal to 10 hectometer. So here one division represents 1 kilometer. 
then in this first main division we have to show the sub unit and sub unit is hectometer and the relation between kilometer and hectometer is 1 kilometer is equal to 10 hectometer so divide this first main division into 10 subdivisions and it will represent hectometer so 10 subdivisions of equal length 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now on this one we have to show 3 kilometers and 4 hectometer so from the main scale take 3 kilometer and from the sub scale take 4 hectometer that means 1 2 3 4 hectometer so this length will be equal to 6 kilometer and now we have to show the RF of this scale and the RF of this scale is represented on the right corner of the scale. So here RF is equal to 25 mm upon 1 km is equal to 25 mm upon 1 into 10 is to 6 mm. Here there is a mistake, it is not kilometer, it is mm. So it is equal to 1 upon 40,000. Now let's move on to the next example. Example number 3. Construct a plane scale with RF is equal to 1 is to 5 to show decimeters and the scale should be long enough to measure 1 meter. Show length of 7.4 decimeter on scale. So here the RF is 1 is to 5 and we have to show the scale in decimeter and centimeter. So what is the relation between decimeter and centimeter? 10 centimeter is equal to 1 decimeter. So our decimeter will be our main scale and centimeter will be our sub scale. And scale should be long enough to measure to 1 meter. Here we can take 1 meter is equal to 10 decimeter. And show the length of 7.4 drawing this plane scale we have to indicate 7.4 meter drawing length of the scale so let us first of all find out the drawing length of the scale so length of the plane scale that is the drawing length of the plane scale is equal to rf into maximum length and maximum length is 1 meter it is 10 decimeter so rf is equal to 1 to 5 into 1 meter here we can take 1 meter is equal to 10 decimeter so 1 by 5 into 10 decimeter so the answer will be 20 centimeter so 20 centimeter will be our drawing length of the scale so first of all Draw scale having length is equal to 20 cm. So this will be the actual length of our scale, 20 cm. Now in this 20 cm scale length, we have to show 10 cm. 10 cm, which is our maximum scale length. That means we have to divide this scale into 10 equal parts. So divide this length into 10 equal parts. Uh, and the drawing length of each part will be equal to 2 cm. Mark the zero, uh, mark zero at the first main division. And after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So divide this scale into 10 equal parts and mark 0 at the first main division. So the main scale will represent decimeter, which is our main unit. And on the sub scale, we have to show the centimeter. Now we can say that 1 decimeter equal to 10 centimeter. So this 10 centimeter, which is our sub scale. So on the sub scale, we have to show centimeters and here 1 unit represents 1 decimeter and 10, 10 centimeter is equal to 1 decimeter. So divide this first main division into 10 sub divisions 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now on this scale we have to represent 7.4 decimeter. 7.4 decimeter that means 7 decimeter and 4 centimeter. So 7 is our main unit. So from the main scale take the main unit 7 and from the sub scale take 4 cm that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this length will be about 7.4 dm or 7 dm or 4 cm. Now we have to show the RF at the right corner. So here the RF is going to 1 to 5. Now let's see one another example. Example number 4. The distance between two places is 240 km. And its equivalent distance on the map is represented by 12 cm. Draw plane scale and indicate 270 km and 120 km on the scale. Now here we can say that 270 km is our maximum scale length. Okay. So the maximum scale length of, uh, maximum measurement of the scale will be 270 km. And the, here the relation is given that means 240 km is represented by 12 cm on the map. And we have to show 120 km on the scale. So here we have only one unit that is kilometer. So let's start. First of all, we have to find out the drawing length of the scale. So length of the plane scale is equal to RF into maximum length. Now RF will be equal to 12 centimeter upon 20 kilo, sorry, 240 kilometer. Because here uh, 12 centimeter is our drawing length and 240 kilometer is our actual length. 
actual length and the, as per the definition of RF, RF is equal to drawing length upon actual length. So drawing length is 12 cm, actual length is 240 cm into maximum cell length is 270 cm. So the answer will be equal to 13.5 cm. So first of all draw a scale having length is equal to 13.5 cm. This will be the actual length of our scale. Now on this scale we have to represent or on this scale we have to show 270 km. That means uh, now we are not going to divide the scale into 270 equal parts, but we will take a factor of 270 or 27. So let us divide this uh, scale into three equal parts, which will be one factor of 27. So divide this scale into three equal parts. Starting from first main division, it will represent 0, 90, 180, 270. So we have divided this uh, 270 km into three equal parts. Uh, 90 km each 0, 90, 180, 270. So the main scale will represent kilometer. Here the scale is in single unit kilometer. So main scale will also represent kilometer and sub scale will also represent kilometer. So this is 0 km, 90 km, 180 and 270 km. And on the sub scale we have to show the kilometers. But here one main unit gives us 90 km. So divide this one main division into 9 subdivisions showing 10 kilometer each so divide this line into 10 equal parts 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 because right now the one main division indicates 90 kilometer now we have to show 120 kilometer on the scale so we can take 90 meter from the main scale and 90 plus 30 is equal to 120 so we have to take 30 km from the subscale. So this length will be equal to 2, sorry, 120 km in length. Now here we have to show the RF at the right corner. So RF is equal to 12 cm upon 240 km is equal to 12 into 10 mm upon 240 into 10 is to 6 mm. So it is equal to 1 upon 2 into 10 is to 6 mm. Now let us move on to next example. Example number 5. The length of Khandara tunnel on the Mumbai Pune Express is 330. On the map, it is shown by 16.5 cm long line. Construct a plane scale to show meters and measure up to 400 meters. Show length of 290 meter long on the expressway. So here one relation is given. 330 meter is equal to 16.5 cm. That means 16.5 cm will be our drawing length and 330 meter will be our actual length. And here we have to show the scale in meters only and it is long enough to measure up to 400 meter. So let us first of all find out the Drawing length of the scale. So length of the plane scale is equal to RF into maximum length. So here RF is equal to uh, 16.5 cm divided by 330 because 16.5 cm is our drawing length and this is our actual length. And RF is equal to drawing length upon actual length. So 16.5 cm upon 330 meters into 400 meter, which is our maximum scale length. So the answer will be equal to 20 cm. So first of all, draw a scale having length is equal to 20 cm. And in this 20 cm scale length, we have to show 400 meter, which is our maximum scale length. So here we are not going to divide this scale into 400 main divisions, but we will take a factor of 40 or 400. So let take let us take the 4 as a factor of 40 or 400. So divide this length into 4 equal parts: 0, 0, 100, 200, 300, and 400. So here each main division represents 100 meter. So the main scale will represent and the subscale will also represent meter and here in one main division we have shown 100 meter so right now we have to divide this first main division into 10 subdivisions showing 10 meter each so divide this first main division into 10 subdivisions 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 now on this scale we have to show 290 meter 290 meter 290 meter. So from the main scale take 200 and from the sub scale take 90 that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. So from the sub, sub scale take 90 and this length will be equal to 290 meter. Now we have to show the RF over here on the right corner of the scale. So RF is equal to 16.5 cm upon 330 meter. It will be 16.5 into 10 mm up. 330 into 1000 mm. This is equal to 1 upon 2000. So 
or uh, that will be equal to 1 upon 2000 so this is it for today thank you for watching in our next lecture we will discuss the diagonal scale till then take care